Children are different, their biology is different, their whole development is different, and they need doctors that focus on that. Children's National for almost 150 years has been providing the best care that we can. We are all kids, all the time, that's all we think about. We care for children both in the D.C. metropolitan region, but also around the nation and internationally as well. And it's just wonderful to uh, be a part of uh, the Children's Hospital in our nation's capital. There needs to be time built into every child's day where they can be themselves and have a little bit of fun. We have the special programs to help the kids get better and heal in a different way, such as the Healing Garden or the Ryan Seacrest Studio. You know, it's a fun place. There's art, there's music, there's always something going on. And a lot of that comes from the energy of the kids, the courage of the kids. In 2013, we decided that we would uh, form a, a true partnership, a collaboration with Cerner. The Bear Institute and the relationship are our kind of go-to strategy for how do we get the best, the cutting edge, and we see them really as an extension of us. We are focused on creating the next set of IT or technology innovations that can go and really fundamentally shift and change the way care is delivered. If we didn't have the relationship with Cerner, you know, I think it would be a huge market disadvantage for us. But we've been able to catapult the entire experience because of the Bear Institute. We really went from a basic documentation tool to something now that it's really informing care and helping us to think about care in a different way. Whether that's through connections, like wireless phones and making sure that we're always readily available to patients and families, or whether it's through the safety that we can ensure because of the technologies like barcoding. Moving towards patient-centered technologies. One of the recently launched initiatives is a direct-to-consumer one where patients are able to use their mobile devices to access services from Children's National. We really try to build an experience where we are communicating with families, explaining what's going on. Some examples of that are the creation of Family Center Rounding, Wayfinding app for the organization, um, advancements of portal technology, all things that are driving the patient to the center of the care we provide. So what we did is developed our Family Center Rounding app. This app allows the patient and the family member to know when the team's coming, to engage, to ask questions, and to be really involved. And so everybody's having the same conversation, impacting the patient care in a positive outcome. One of our trauma doctors said, look, it is really difficult when I'm in the middle of a trauma resuscitation to document everything that was going on. Our trauma application is taking the entire workflow of the nursing documentation and we're digitizing it. Now this trauma doctor, he's so happy because he can focus on the, on the child, he can focus on getting the best outcome, knowing that it's all being documented and recorded straight into the electronic health record. When I look down the road at what we're going to be utilizing our health information technology for, I really think about three things, precision health, telehealth, and population health. We have a commitment to our community and, and our kids. So we want to invest more in children in their care and not less. We have multiple registries that the Cerner team and the Bear Institute has worked on, and we use those registries to look at certain markers, certain outcomes for the, the patients that we're serving. It's going to be, allow us to really mine data in a very different way than we have before. What the data allows us to see is where are those opportunities to improve in influenza vaccine rates or even in asthma action plan to allow those children to stay healthy and stay out of the hospital. What's really exciting is uh, going to be our ability as we roll out the revenue cycle system. We're really going to be able to start to understand our true cost of care and continue to drive towards value-based care. It's a daily occurrence. You walk through the Bayer Institute and you see nurses and physicians and teams collaborating either to solve a problem at hand or to begin to imagine how we might innovate around a new problem or a new opportunity. The great promise of something like the Bear Institute is that you can take those challenges and turn them into solutions. That's where it's so exciting to be here and have an opportunity to change the world.